I'm Heidi Hewitt, AutoCAD Technical Marketing Manager with Autodesk, and I'm here speaking with David Cohen, author and CAD consultant. David, with um, materials in AutoCAD, I know you can apply materials and tile them, but sometimes people want to apply materials, maybe they don't automatically by default apply in the location they want them to apply. Right, well it's not even locations, I mean sometimes AutoCAD just doesn't get it right. When you apply a material to an object, AutoCAD does a pretty good idea, or does a pretty good job of figuring out what that object is and tries to take the best type of mapping for that object. But there's really four different ways that you can map materials onto objects in AutoCAD. And sometimes AutoCAD just doesn't get it right, or it gets it right, but it doesn't know the actual size of the object or how you want that material to map onto the object. And so you can adjust that. There's four different types of mapping. There's planar, box, spherical, and cylindrical mapping. And so even though I've mapped something onto a cylinder, AutoCAD may not, may not always get it right. So let me show you what I've done here. As an example, I just went out and took a photograph. This is a, a can of uh, coconut milk from Trader Joe's. And I cut the label off of it. And I scanned the label in on my flatbed scanner. And I brought it into my paint program. And I saved this off as a JPEG file. So I want to create a new material. Again, this is going to be a custom material. I've created a simple cylinder inside of AutoCAD. And we'll go out to our material palette. And again, I'll create a new material. And we'll call the material coconut milk. I'm going to take that new material. And now again, because this is the color image, I want to go out and I want to get my diffuse map. So we'll go out and we'll find that JPEG image that I saved called coconut milk. We'll open that up. And now I'm going to apply that material to the cylinder. So again, inside my, my material palette, we'll just select that material and apply it to the object. Well, notice that when it applies to the object, it doesn't look right. AutoCAD knows that it should map it onto the cylinder, but it didn't know anything about how to map it onto that cylinder. And so the first thing I need to do is go in and change my tiling and scaling. Let's tell it we're working in inches. And I know that I don't want to tile at all this time. So we'll set tiling to none for both the width and the height. I'm going to set my width to one. I want one repetition around it, but I know the can's four inches high, or four and a half inches high. So we'll change the setting to four and a half. Well, now it's got the mapping wrong. All I need to do to adjust that then is to go out and we'll change the mapping to cylindrical. I'll select the object, tell AutoCAD to use the mapping I just gave it on the cylinder, and there's my coconut milk on that can. And now if I render that, you can see that it actually looks an awful lot like that photograph of that can that we started with. Wow, that's great. Yeah, very realistic. So that's what you would do when AutoCAD doesn't map it exactly right. You can make that adjustment yourself. Oh, look at that. Can't tell the difference. No. Nope. <laughs> that's great. Thanks, David. You're welcome.